Hey, hey, word nerds, Gabriella here, and I am trying something a little bit different today. Um, I've decided to shoot some impromptu behind the scenes video and answer some of the questions that I've been getting from you guys via email. So last week, I got a really great question from a fellow word nerd called Kara, who was struggling with this dichotomy between doing art versus the day-to-day -day grunt work of the work of writing. And she was struggling with this uh, dichotomy in the sense that like, she felt like she was on the brink of doing a really great project, but she was also feeling really afraid of sort of taking that next step. And also kind of how do you balance this big project, this work of art that you want to do versus how do you actually do the day-to-day -day writing, oftentimes the writing that will pay the bills and put food on the table. And one of the things that occurred to me as I was reading Kara's question and thinking about her question is that we often create this really big chasm between the art that we do, the artistry of our writing work, and the day-to-day -day craftsmanship of it. And oftentimes we create a barrier that doesn't really have to exist. We kind of put art on one side of a wall and craft or the day-to-day -day work on the other side of that wall. And that then creates this barrier where we feel like we have to take this enormous leap in order to get over it. When the truth is, the two things are actually coexisting in the same universe. They're on the same spectrum as it were. And Clay Shirky talks about this, not only in his really wonderful TED Talk, but also in his awesome book, Cognitive Surplus. So the idea is that art, great work, is on the same spectrum as the run-of-the-mill, humdrum, regular, everyday work, kind of like the polished videos that you guys see from me in my courses and also when I'm launching something new, those things are on the same spectrum as the kind of messy everyday video that you're seeing right this second. So I wanted to shoot this video as a way to show you that like these things coexist, they're in the same universe, and it's actually okay to operate in both realms, to be both doing something that's big and great and flashy and beautiful, and also be doing things that are kind of messy. Like a few minutes ago, I completely blanked out on the name of Clay Shirky's book and I had to do a retake. So um, it's really okay to be operating in both spaces. In fact, it's by operating in this space, the messy everyday workspace, that you are then able to put in the mileage and do the grunt work that will get you to doing the great art. So as you go off into your weeks and decide to do some really great, amazing work, um, remember, it's okay to make a mess. I'm about to join my kids over at the playground in the sandbox where they will most definitely be making a mess. And it's okay to do the messy work because that's what enables the great work to come. All right, Ordnerds, thanks so much for watching. Keep writing and keep being awesome.